My name is Stephen Landry. I study cognitive science and human factors, and I'm a graduate researcher in the lab. I'm James Walker. I'm a computer science PhD student, and I've developed software for the ASAP project. My name is Ridwan Ahmed Khan. Uh, my major is computer science, and my role in this lab is as a researcher. I'm Joseph Ryan. I'm studying computer science and psychology, and I'm working as a researcher and developer with this lab. My main project is the ESOP lab, which is the room that we're in right now. It stands for Immersive Interactive Sonification Platform. Um, a variety of phases in this project involve about uh, using gesture control for music and sonification in virtual environments. I've been working on ASOP, which is devoted to gesture interactions in virtual environments. Specifically, I developed visualization software for the system, which uh, created real-time three-dimensional visualizations on a giant display wall in response to users' physical movements within the space. So my project is to develop an interactive environment for basically programming in the ASOP room. Uh, I'm working on ways that we can, as developers, take any object and make it give us data. So we use a lot of different technologies for this project. Uh, the first is the Vicon tracking system all around the room. It's a bunch of cameras that uh, keep track of the dancer's limbs, their position and their movement. Uh, we also have the giant display wall, which is used for the visualizations. Um, and we also are looking into a bunch of different wearables, like the Mio and a bunch of different physiological sensors, like heart rate and GSR. Ishmael and Aesop each sort of have different goals. In the case of Ishmael, the objective was to put within reach of non-programmers and non-technical people on the research staff the ability to easily change the parameters of the motion sound mapping with, while they have minimal programming knowledge. Uh, so sort of putting that normally more technically oriented aspect of the project into the hands of the non-programmers on the team. We are uh, thinking of uh, bringing uh, handheld devices uh, into these projects. Uh, nowadays, uh, everyone uses smartphones, so a smartphone can be a very good addition to these projects. Mm, we can always uh, use uh, on-the-move uh, technologies to, uh, uh, to run these projects and anywhere, uh, and that can help us uh, do research in various fields in a different new ways. So the biggest limitation of the system right now is that it only works in this room with using these Vicon cameras. Uh, our goal is to use more things like wearables, like the Mio armband, the, the Leap Motion camera, um, and that way we can kind of take it on the road, even using some smaller cameras like the Microsoft Connect. That way we can basically share it with the world and take it to other places and actually use it for demonstration purposes. This project's heading towards pure sonification and just taking any motion, any gesture, and creating music with it. Um, I'm hoping that in the future we can make it as simple as something that you do on your phone. You could just put your phone in your pocket and you dance and it creates wonderful music from your dance just on an object on you. That's where I see this project going.